It's live with the mortgage calculator. Today we're going to go through some live rates of mortgages and different types of loans. And then we're going to do a deep dive into second mortgages, fixed second mortgages, I guess I should say. We'll wait just a couple of minutes here to get started, though. Make sure we allow everybody a chance to get on and make sure that we're live on all the different platforms. We are streaming this on YouTube, Facebook, and LinkedIn. As you tune in, feel free to drop a comment there. We did put the chat up on the screen, so please drop comments as you tune in. Dario and Jason, thank you for the comments from LinkedIn. We appreciate it. Maria, thank you for the comments. We'll get started here in just a moment. Feel free to keep dropping comments there. We have that pulled up on the screen. Hope everybody's been having a great week. Malik, thank you for the comment. Appreciate everybody tuning in early and giving us some comments there. We'll get started here in just a moment. Adam, thank you for the comment. So it looks like we are good to go. Feel free to keep dropping comments there in the chat. And then when we do our deep dive topic, feel free to drop some questions in the chat and we can answer them for our deep dive topic. Welcome everyone, my name is Kyle Hershey. I'm the COO of The Mortgage Calculator, joined here by our president, Nick Hershey, and our sales manager, Jose Gonzalez. We are a correspondent lender that specializes in non-QM loans. And what we do on this show every weekday is go through some live rates, real live rates for some different mortgage programs. And then we do a deep dive into a different topic. Now, today's topic is going to be fixed rate second mortgages. So our sales manager, Jose Gonzalez, with 28 years of experience as both a loan officer and a realtor is going to go ahead and take us through uh, what these products are and some actual rates for those as well. But before we do that, let's do what we do every morning, which is pull up our pricing tool and look at the live mortgage rates for today. So Nick, let's go ahead and pull up the pricing and see what the market is looking like this morning. and we will check it out. So this is our pricing tool for our team. This will show us the general rates for today, September 6th, just after 11 a.m. for all of our general programs. If you'd like a full breakdown of all the fees that go into the APR, a full loan estimate, please get with our team members. We have over 300 licensed loan officers in 24 states so for the demo today we're going to set up a scenario that we can compare across all the loan types so we'll set a 400,000 loan amount for all the demos we'll set the LTV to 80% loan 20% down payment we will set the desired price to 99 which means we'll ask the computer to find the best rate at one discount point of cost and we'll compare our programs. We'll start with conforming conventional as we do every day. And then we'll check out FHA rates. And then we'll go into expanded guidelines, also known as non-QM, where we have over 5,000 additional programs beyond the standard ones here. We also offer VA and USDA. Remember, VA is only for eligible veterans and active service members. If you are eligible, let us know. And USDA is only for eligible properties. If you do happen to be shopping in a USDA area, just let us know. So we'll start with conforming conventional. We'll do purchase, 30 year fixed, primary occupancy, single family home, one unit, state of Florida, county of Miami Dade. And for all the demos, we use an estimated FICO of 760 and an estimated debt to income ratio of 40. So with these basic settings, let's see what the conventional rates are looking like. About the same as yesterday. Uh, yeah. I think it's almost exactly the same. Uh, 7.25 rate, one discount point in cost, 7.417, final APR. So this is a good option for our customers looking at conventional, just a touch lower than the peak rates uh, last week and the week before, uh, but definitely a good option for our customers out there looking 
Now, if our customer doesn't qualify for conventional, usually the next option we want to compare is an FHA program. FHA allows a little more leniency on credit issues as well as a higher debt to income ratio. We will keep everything else exactly the same as our other demo. So all we've changed is the loan program so we can compare APR across the programs. So this morning, looks like FHA went up just a touch, 6.625 rate, 0.625 discount points and cost, puts the final APR at 7.205. So you see here FHA, if you qualify for both conventional and FHA, FHA is actually a touch cheaper in this example. So a good option for our customers that qualify for both, definitely don't overlook the FHA. And this does include our mortgage insurance. So for our customers that must use FHA, it is a great deal now with some of the recent changes. Now, where we love to specialize here is if our customer doesn't qualify for either of the FHA or conventional programs. That's where we specialize. Many other banks or lenders don't have other options, but we have this whole category called expanded guidelines, also known as non-QM, where we have 5,000 additional options for our borrowers to help them out if they cannot qualify for the standard ones. So we'll keep everything else exactly the same. However, we have a new option here for income. So full doc is what we use for FHA and conventional. Typically, if our customer doesn't qualify for those programs, we would use an alternative method such as asset related, business bank statements. Our investor programs are just for investment properties. We'll talk about that in a minute. Personal bank statement 12 month is what we use for the demo. That's the most popular program for a primary home. We also have RSU stated, BOE 1099 PL, no income CDFI, all kinds of different options here. But for the demo, we always use our 12 month personal bank statement, and that's for our self employed borrowers. Many times, when our self employed borrowers try to use full documentation of two years' tax returns for a conventional or FHA loan, may have different write offs and may not qualify at all, or may not quite get enough income for the home they really want. So, in this case, we'll solve that problem by just using bank statements, no tax returns at all. So, just their last 12 bank statements to determine a debt to income ratio of 40% in this example using just the cash in the bank, no tax returns. So let's check out the bank statement options this morning. Very comparable here when conventional goes up, the non-QM gets closer. So best option here at the top, 7.5 rate, very comparable, a little bit more expensive for non-QM, 2.25 discount points in cost, puts our final APR at 7.608. So remember conventional was 7.4, here we have a non-QM bank statement option for just 0.2 higher in cost. So really amazing when our non-QM options are very comparable to the conventional. Now, a ton of programs are available. So some of these may allow things like bankruptcies and foreclosures and other items that may cause us to not qualify. So tons of different options here, hundreds of different versions of ways to calculate income and also other guidelines that we can get around if our customer has other issues, perhaps. So tons of different options. Please get with our team to find the best one. And let me go back to the pricer and we will do our final two demos for investment properties. So we love to work with investors, whether they're seasoned investors or first time investors, we have some great options. So we can check out our conforming conventional options and we'll compare that to our non-QM. Conforming conventional, uh, definitely with the rates being higher, has had a little bit of trouble lately, but we'll keep everything else exactly the same. All we've edited here is the occupancy, so we can see the adjustments the conventional programs have added for an investment property. So pretty good option here at the top, 7.625 rate, three discount points in costs, and a final APR of 7.8. So a good option for our customers that qualify full doc and want to get the uh, super low rates that are here. However, there is a cost. Most investors would, uh, you know, rather choose a higher rate in order to get a lower cost. So three discount points is $12,000 in this example. So most investors ask for other options here. That's where our non-QM options come in because conventional doesn't really have higher rates we can get to in order to reduce these discount points. So typically our investors will check out our non-QM options to solve that problem. So we'll set up the same demo. We'll set expanding guidelines, non-QM. And now we need to select our income verification. 
most popular option by far for investment properties is going to be our DSCR option. Super simple because it doesn't require any income or employment from the borrower. We simply use the estimated rent from the property to determine a DSCR value. It stands for debt service coverage ratio. If the estimated rents can cover the mortgage payment, PITIA, that is a ratio of 1.00 or higher, aka the property cash flows monthly. We even have options for under one where the property doesn't cash flow. For our demo though, we always put 1.5, which is the highest, so we can see all the programs pop up. And the last thing is prepayment penalty. Three years is standard for a DSCR or any non-QM investment property. We can choose zero that will limit the loan programs and cost more. We can also choose five, which will again limit the loan programs, but save some money in some cases. Since three years is the most common, we use that for our demo. So let's check out the DSCR options this morning. Ooh, conventional finally beat us for the first time in a week here, Jose. Uh, so this is more normal, but our DSCR is just a touch, just a touch higher on the APR than conventional uh, today. 7.875 rate, 0.725 discount points, and the APR 7.932. Remember conventional was 7.8. So almost identical here for a DSCR option. Uh, most of our investors, when comparing a non-QM or DSCR option to the conventional, I'd say 90% or more would choose the DSCR for the ease. And in this case, it's actually almost identical cost. Yesterday and the uh, last week, it was actually cheaper, which is absolutely amazing. So definitely recommend all our investors check out the non-QM options. Usually that will satisfy their need to raise the rate a tad. So you see the rate's a little bit higher than our conventional example but our discount points are much less. Number $13,000 is a lot more than 2,900 in this example. So most investors will choose this for that reason as well. Tons of different options here. Please get with our team. Some of these at higher rates and uh, costs may allow things like bankruptcies and foreclosures. And also a popular request that we get is short-term rental income. So some of these ones a little bit higher rates may allow us to use short-term rental income to qualify the DSCR. So those are great options for our investors. And now we're going to get into our deep dive topic, which is another popular option for investors, new product here recently, which is our second mortgage, fixed rate second mortgages. So remember yesterday, Jose went over the HELOCs, which are more traditional and more set up for primary homes. Now we're talking about our 30 year fixed second mortgage, which does open up the options to investment properties and a few other things. But remember, these are not HELOCs, right? They're not uh, adjustable and they're not open ended. These are fully amortized fixed loans, but instead of the first mortgage, these are the second mortgage. So uh, Jose, you want to explain a little bit of your examples and then we'll go ahead and pull them up. Good morning, everybody. Thank you for joining us for Daily Rates Live with the Mortgage Calculator. Great to be with you this morning. Uh, he loans are not to be confused with he locks, right? Uh, he loan is a fixed rate uh, closed end uh, loan, which means it's a fully amortizing, has a set amortization schedule. Uh, the loan is fully funded at closing. HELOC, open-ended, uh, variable rate, uh, you only pay on what you owe, and you don't necessarily have to fund the complete HELOC at closing. Right? Uh, the other difference is that with the HELOs, we have a couple of additional income streams that we can use, right? We're talking about... Uh, Alt doc, right? 1099, PL, bank statement, as well as full doc. So let me share the examples we have here. Helon also is up to a 90% max uh, CLTV, whereas the uh, HELOX can go above 90%. So first example here is our full doc option, taking it to the max 90% CLTV. So you're looking at 
point six, excuse me, eleven point six two five as our lowest cost option, and ten point three seven five as our lowest rate option. And this is for primary full dot. So now we have investment full doc. Uh, the investments these are, are these are all cash outs. I noticed you put cash yeah, out on here, right, but these are all right. technically cash yeah, out, correct? Yeah, correct. Got Every single one. Real, real quick too, I just want to kind of be clear here. We're looking at these rates, they seem high because we're only looking at the second mortgage rate, right? This has nothing to do with the first mortgage. We're literally just looking at the, the rate of the second only, right? Correct. And these are still going to be lower than the HELOC rates. Uh, now, again, I do stress main advantage here is investors and alt doc. You know, we can do these full doc and we can do these alt doc on investment properties, which is the key. Uh, so this is a great tool, obviously, for and they're very popular with those borrowers that do not want to touch that existing first mortgage, which they may have at a extremely low rate, but they still need access to funds for whatever they need to do. So this is a great alternative to the HELOCs which obviously also are variable rate with no guarantee that what you get today is where you'll be at tomorrow versus this, which is a fixed rate, allows you to plan. So in this option here, which is our investment full doc for the investment options, 80% is the max. So here, 12.75 has a little bit of a lender credit, and you can buy that down to 11.75. So here's where it starts getting interesting with the heat loans, right? We have our bank statement option, which uh, pretty much uh, same rate, very similar to the full doc option. If we go to the primary full doc, you saw right there, 11.625 and 11.625 on the bank statement option as well for primary. And then our investment bank statement is 12.75 you'll notice again very similar uh as the full doc rates investment 12.75 has a little bit of a lender credit you can buy this down to 11.75 percent then our p and l for primary here uh we have 11.5 percent with a little bit of a lender credit and you can buy this down to 10.25%. And this one is max 85% CLTV. And our He Loan PL investment 80%. This one is also very interesting. So again, 12.75 and 11.75 lowest rate option. And our 1099 option here is for primary, uh, and it is 13%. Uh, now, there is a DSCR option, but in order to price it, we would have to custom tailor that pricing. But I will let you know that um, speak with your loan consultant if you do have a DSCR loan and you do want to get that. I mean, if you do have a DSCR type property, and you want to get that second loan, we may be able to price that out for you. If you have a good credit score, we should be able to get some compliant pricing for you. But I don't have any options here for our quotes. But 1099 is only available as a primary uh, on the uh, HELO, not available as an investment property. All right. I don't see any questions here. Some uh, great options there. And uh, remember, if you weren't with us yesterday, we do have the show yesterday, which we did on HELOCs and then today the HE loans. So you can go check that out as well if you missed yesterday. But we appreciate everybody tuning in. Remember, we do this 11 a.m. Eastern every single weekday where we go through the live rates and then we do a deep dive into a different topic. So we'll be right back here tomorrow with a new topic. 
Thank you, everybody, for tuning in. Thank you, Nick. Thank you, Jose. And we hope to see you all tomorrow, 11 a.m. Eastern, for the next episode of Daily Rates Live with the Mortgage Calculator. Have a great day, everyone. Thanks, everybody.